After creating the checkpoint system, we need to set up spawn points for the initial position of each car. We will also create a race manager script. But first, let's disable the mesh renderer for the waypoints and checkpoints. Next, create an empty game object to hold all the spawn positions. Then add a cube to represent each position. I have created a green material for the spawn positions. Position the cube, switch to top view and place it at the first point on the track. Simply select and duplicate each point as needed. To keep everything organized, rename the positions. And remove the box collider from each one. Next. We need to create a race manager script that will manage positions of player and AI cars. Race manager script will manage spawning the player's selected car and the AI cars at different spawn points we added on the track. First, the script has arrays to store different car prefabs for both the player and AI. So player gets to choose a car from the player car's array. We do this because later on we will use car selection scene to select a player car. While AI cars are randomly selected from the AI car's array. We need to place cars at specific positions, so spawn points array hold all the positions we created in the editor. Then we use player index to define on which position the player car need to be placed. When we run the game, start method is called and it will trigger spawn cars method. This method goes through each spawn point and depending on whether the current spawn point is the player's position, then spawns either the player's chosen car or a random AI car. If the spawn point matches the player's index, the selected player car is instantiated there. For the other spawn points, a random AI car is selected from the AI car array and placed on the track. Finally, we use setPlayerCar to allow the player to choose 
the car from a selection menu for example but in this video we will choose from unity editor this method takes an integer representing the cars index in the player cars array if the selected index is valid the player's chosen car is stored so it can be spawned later when the race starts that's it head back to unity and create race manager game object then assign the script to it First of all, we need to create a prefab folder in the assets folder, which will hold player cars and AI cars prefabs. Then create a folder for player cars and the folder for AI cars. Now let's duplicate the car we created before to create player car and AI car. For the player car, we no longer need car AI control and waypoint progress tracker. So just remove them. As well, we need to add car user control script to drive using keyboard. For AI car, we need to disable the camera and audio since we don't need AI car to play sounds. Then drag each one to folder. Now select Race Manager, Assign Player Car and AI Car. Then let's add two spawn positions. Before running the game, we need to make a small edit to Waypoint Progress Tracker script to ensure it works with AI car prefabs. To do this, open script, 
install method add a line that allows the progress tracker to find waypoints game object after after AI car is instantiated this change ensures that when AI car is spawned in the game it can automatically locate the waypoints and follow the path correctly that's it head back to unity hit play and the car will be spawned and you can drive and race If you get null reference exception, then open the car controller script. And simply add an awake method. And we will initialize the rigid body component. That's it. Head back to Unity and the error will no longer appear. Before hit play, let's disable the position's mesh renderer. Next, let's create more players and AI cars and change the materials. As well, you can make specific car parameter for each car as different speed and max speed. After creating prefabs and changing the car color, add players and AI cars to race manager. Now, if we select 
different car index, it will spawn a different car for the player. That's it. Thank you for following along and stay tuned for next part. Also, if you would like to get access to these scripts and more, make sure to subscribe to my Patreon page. Thank you for watching.